Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to take you guys to Home Goods with me to check out some new Ray Dunn items, some new outdoor items, as well as some new furniture items that I haven't seen in the stores before. So if you guys are interested in watching, let's just get right into the video. So walking into Home Goods, I like went over to the like kitchen section first and saw a bunch of new outdoor picnic items as well as like those um, drink chillers. The yellow summer one was um, new to me and it was the first time I saw it. I absolutely love the color of that and I think it would be great for like a backyard barbecue or something, as well as these like pitchers and glasses that match. Um, that pink set is really adorable and they also have um, coolers available, um, Ray Dunn and like other brands. And they also have picnic baskets, which I was debating if I wanted to get a picnic basket or not, but I decided to hold off because I'm thinking maybe they're going to go on sale. Also, these plates are great for outside um, for a barbecue or like going on a picnic or something like that. Having melamine plates is like so much easier and it's better for the environment than just getting like the paper plates that you like throw out after. If you guys didn't know, I am on the hunt for like different wine glasses and beverage glasses. So I have been looking at like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and like Marshalls for um, something. So I haven't been able to find something that I really love yet, but that um, margarita glass that you guys just saw with the shells on it, I, abs I am absolutely obsessed with that. And these are just some of the Ray Dunn items that they have. This store was like stocked pretty well with Ray Dunn, I would say. Usually I go to the store and it's either pretty picked over or they just don't have anything I haven't seen. But that young canister was like the baby one and I thought it was super cute. I was debating on getting that as well, but I decided to be good this trip and not buy anything, which I am super, super proud of myself. And these dessert ones as well were really cute, but I thought it wasn't deep enough to like put ice cream or anything like that in, so I decided to pass on those. These were some wine glasses that I was debating on, these Kate Spade ones, but I decided to hold off and keep looking for a little bit longer just because I don't really know what type of glasses I'm looking for just yet. I kind of want it to be like multi-purpose and not just for like wine or like margaritas. I kind of want it to be able to hold all different types of drinks. I also spotted that cake stand as well as this tall one right here and I thought that would be cute for like some little cupcakes or even just like some Ray Dunn bowls like stacked into each other with the cloche on top I thought would be really nice for the kitchen and they did have a ton of clearance baskets and bins and things like that and I think the wood lids on those were such a nice touch. Um, I haven't seen any baskets with lids on them that look like that before, so I was interested in those too, as well as these little organized ones by Ray Dunn. I haven't seen these before. The store that I went to like this time around was one a little bit further out and they do tend to have like more stuff than the one that's like closer to me. So I was happy to see like a bunch of items that I haven't um, seen before. If you guys do not watch my other videos, you wouldn't know that I have been hunting down that like plaid um, perch birdhouse, the blue and white one. I've been looking absolutely everywhere for it and I still cannot find it. So I'm hoping that one day I can because I definitely don't want to pay like $200 like on Mercari for it. So I have been looking for that as well. Let me know in the comments if you guys have found that birdhouse at all. 
This home goods also had a really nice furniture section as well. There were so many new rattan items or rattan, however you pronounce it. There were so many new items and I absolutely wanted to buy everything. I can't wait to get my own place so I can start decorating like a living room and like a dining room and things like that. They also had this um, little table right here. Like you guys seen, I have one as well but mine is the white version and i also noticed that this version came with different colored baskets as well as the white ones so i don't know if that was like a mistake on the store's part or what but i thought the white was a good contrast with the like dark wood um like table thing whatever it is <laughs> They also had Kate Spade lamps as well, and I absolutely love these lamps. So now that you guys have seen the footage and I am back at home, I quickly wanted to talk to you guys about fall and the upcoming seasons. So um, as you are watching this, the 4th of July is over and it's well over by now. And I was wondering if you guys wanted to see fall content earlier rather than later or if you don't want to see fall content until like September or something like that. I completely understand. I have just seen a lot of people and a lot of channels um, already start to put up fall content. So definitely let me know if you guys want to see the fall content early because I know these stores in the next couple of weeks are going to be putting um, fall items out. So I definitely want you guys to see the items before they're like completely sold out or whatever, because I don't know if it's gonna be like last year where it's like kind of like a hit or a miss with like the stores or what. So definitely let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see fall stuff in like July and August rather than waiting till maybe like September. So definitely let me know about that. And last year I ha haven't really filmed too much fall content, but I did have a little bit. Um, something else that I wanted to run by you guys and ask for your opinions if you're interested in giving yours is um, like Halloween hunting. I have seen other channels do these Halloween hunting videos where they kind of go out every week and they share what they've seen in the stores some type of commotion going on outside but anyways um they're going out every week and seeing what's new to the stores and they're going to quite a few stores like the home goods like tj maxx marshall's like bath and body works wherever they do sell um halloween so i was thinking that could be fun and a little bit different for this channel if we do go do a halloween hunting because i kind of do that on my own and i like don't film it and, or i haven't filmed it so i am definitely interested um in knowing if you guys would want to see content like that on the channel i've been trying to get away from j just doing like hauls i've been wanting to like kind of go out and do some filming so i think that would be a great way to incorporate um that on the channel so like i said let me know um i've seen like a bunch of channels already doing the halloween hunting and it's like just the first week of july so i think that's a little bit too early in my opinion but i definitely want to know about the fall i know like michael's already has fall stuff in their stores and i haven't gone to see like it fully stocked or anything. So I'm definitely interested in doing that as well. So keep a lookout for that video. There's some like really loud to track outside, but um, anyways, definitely keep a lookout for Michael's. That's like one of my favorite places to shop for fall and Halloween. So I'll be super excited to um, see that. And I hope that you guys will enjoy that as well. Um, and with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Bye everybody.